It's Pride Month! The, the, the end of Pride Month! Mm. Y yeah, sorry, I dragged my heels a touch on this one. Given the subject, though, I wanted to make sure I did it just right. That I chose the right words, kept everything meaningful yet funny, and moreover... I wanted to make this episode feel right. So I hope you like bright, clashing colors, and, and, if, and if not, too, too, too bad, this is what you get. I guess we'll start with what exactly I identify as and work from there. In terms of my sexuality, I consider myself bisexual with a pretty heavy male preference. Bisexuality can be a bit confusing to some, so allow me to summarize it as best as I can. Bisexuality is when you experience attraction to more than one gender. It can be confused with pansexuality, which is more like attraction that's blind to gender. Similar, but not identical. It's actually funny. For the longest time, I identified as gay. It was only fairly recently, like in the last year or so, I realized I was bi. I had a feeling for a long time, but I hadn't properly figured it out yet. And when I did, I was just sort of sitting there and was like, you know, I also do kind of like girls. As for my gender identity, well, that could be best described as such. <clears throat> Okay, okay. To clarify, I consider myself gender fluid. Mostly male, but sometimes I feel like that I don't really have a gender marker that fits, so I guess I could say some days I feel agendered. If that sounds confusing, it's because it is! The human... I, furry mind is a complicated thing. Now, how to describe gender fluidity. Put simply, it describes what happens when someone's gender expression shifts from one to another usually between male and female, but of course, nothing is that simple with my brain. To throw a cog into things, when my sense of gender identity shifts, it's not to a female or anything, it's to nothing. nothing. To be a gender means, well, exactly what it says on the tin. It's when you don't really identify with any gender marker. That's kind of why I feel like my gender identity is a tad confusing. Cause like, one day I do identify with a gender marker, in fact, most days I do, and then some days I'm just like, yeah, this ain't it, chief. Of course, for all I know, I might actually be experiencing something completely different than what I've described. But again, the hu the furry mind is a complicated thing. Remember, for years I identified as gay, but now I identify as bisexual, even if my preferences lean far more into men and that's what I primarily identify as. So for all I know, I might look back at this video and laugh, because it turned out I was actually an eldritch abomination this whole time. But for now, this is how I'm feeling, so this is how I'm identifying. Exploring your sexuality and gender identity is important, kids. But of course, I'm sure you're here for the real juicy stuff. That sweet, sweet tea. I could still say that, right? <clears throat> I speak, of course, of the dreaded coming out stories. Well, I'm sorry to say I don't have anything too interesting to tell. When I came up to my dad, he was unsure about it for like a second, and that was the end of that. No big reaction or anything. As for with my mom, well, I didn't get to come out to my mom. To elaborate on that, one time when I was out with my family, my brother, who I love very much, just blurted it out. I don't remember why or what brought it up, but he did, so, you know, Thanks, brother, who I love very much! Oh, but you want to know the real kicker? The real crotch puncher? My mom just says, Oh, I know. She, she already knew! She knew anyway! <laughs> well, thanks for letting me know that little tidbit, mom! It's not like that could have avoided a whole lot of anxiety. God! <sighs> I was lucky we were drinking that day. Nah, seriously, though. My mom has been super supportive, and I appreciate it a Thanks for being so understanding, Mom. Still bitter, though. At this point, pretty much everyone in my family knows about my men likeage and seems to have been willing to make adjustments to their own understanding about LGBT folks to show support, which I appreciate so much. But I haven't really come out with my gender identity. So, if any of my family is watching this... Then... Surprise! To be honest, I am a little nervous talking about that with my family and friends, though, because it's kind of weird, right? Like, I like dudes is easy enough to explain, but some days I don't feel like a guy, that's a few fathoms trickier. 
Of course, I'm lucky enough to have the support of my friends, family, and boyfriends. Yes, that was plural. Just another reveal for anyone who didn't know, I guess. But not everyone is that fortunate. They may come from a not-so-accepting home or might not feel safe outing themselves. If that sounds like you, just know that there are communities of wonderful people willing to hear you out and nurture your understanding of yourself. And remember, it'll get better for you. Just hang tough, and in case you need to hear this, I believe in you. I don't really have anything funny to close this out on. Just be you. Wonderful, unique you. Love you all. Bye! Hey, remember how I said I didn't have anything to close out on? I lied, because we still have to do the epilogue. This has been probably the hardest episode to do yet, but also the most gratifying. There's been, like, more complicated animations and things like that. It's, it's been crazy. Uh, the audio took forever to do because I kept tripping over one specific part that's, like, I'm identifying. And, see, I can say it now because I'm just talking off the cuff, but God forbid when I'm trying to actually record proper audio for the video, right? Anyway, there isn't too much else I have to say other than that, other than just happy pride. I'm sorry this took so long. Apparently, I felt like doing a food about my diet, a food, a video about my dieting habits was more important. I think the fact that I said a food about my dieting habits probably says a lot, actually. Um, but yeah, happy pride, folks. I'll see you later. Uh, bye.